You guys want to hear a boring story, right? You know, I played in Philadelphia two days ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Philly, yeah. What about Santa Ana, Buzz? I played Santa Ana. I've been there many times. What about it? What about that? The tattooed guy. What was that? The tattooed guy. A tattooed guy, yeah. That's like the guy with the boots and the leather jacket. I remember the guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. This, the Sailor Jerry tattoos. All, oh, yeah, I remember that guy. <laughs> Pseudo rockabilly, kind of, sort of. Yeah, oh, yeah. Everybody knows him. <laughs> um, oh, I know what you're talking about. The guy who got thrown out. He was right. Yeah, you're right. That guy was hammered. He was hammered. He was right up front over here going, Yeah, man, I should be dead, man. I mean, every time I went over there, he'd grab at me. So I told him to stop it. And then he told me, Fuck you, man. <laughs> and kind of just went from there. <laughs> the moral of the story is that I continued my set while he got dragged out by security. So... You know, who won? Who wins? Me or him? He was home early. I continued my set. No, no, no. Depends on what side you're on. You know? Depends on what's on TV, right? <laughs> anyway, in Philly, in Philly, right when I got to this point, some guy goes, just shut up and play music. And so you know what I did? You guys want music? Oh, it's music you want. Okay, all together now. All we are saying <laughs> is piss in your pants. Come on. All we are saying is piss in your pants. And then he charged the stage. <laughs> I went from there. <laughs> he's right up front he's going what's the matter don't you trust me I said no I don't fucking trust you <laughs> trust is earned I don't even know you <laughs> next thing you know anyway it was just kind of like, Philly's kind of like that anyway there's always some guy fuck you know always Always, 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 always. But it's a good place to play. You're out on the verge of a beer throwing mob at every show. Sometimes those are fun, you know? I mean, it depends on the show. You know? Anyway. That would never happen here. No. We love Baltimore, you. Baltimore, no, Baltimore. Woo! Yeah, you guys will always love us. Thank you. And that's why you'll always be better than Philly. be a feather in any city's cap. <laughs> well, we're better than Philly. Yeah. And D.C. I don't mean to pick on Philly. That was just that one guy. But he did make it memorable. You know? <laughs> shut up, man. I always love shut up. Just shut up, man. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'll be quick now. <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm going to tell you a quick story about one of my heroes. I'm going to let you pick, but I've already decided. <laughs> Either Mike Patton or Iggy Pop. Iggy Pop it is. That, no, that's the best part of a, a democracy. It's mob rules. That means half of the people are always disappointed. <laughs> 49% are always totally disappointed. Anyway, Iggy Pop is one of my all-time heroes. I hope it's one of your guys' all-time heroes. I honestly believe I'm a better person for being a fan of Iggy Pop. I don't know how that sounds crazy, but I believe it. But I believe a lot of stuff. You know. Anyway. So, 
I've seen him a, a bunch of times, some long before he was the Stooges reformed, and I got to see the Stooges. We actually got to play with the Stooges, which was great. At one point, they uh, said that they wanted us to go on after the Stooges, and so I just canceled the show. <laughs> I said, no, 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 Buzz is not that stupid, and I'm not doing it, you know? Come on, you have to do it. No, I don't have to do it. I don't have to line up for an ass kicking. I don't have to do that. <laughs> you play after the Stooges. You show us how it's done, you know? The promoter whined and then let us play right before him, and I was fine with that. You know? And you know what band played right after him? Sonic Youth. <laughs> and I was standing on the side of the stage while they were playing, next to Jay Maskus, and I said, do you think it's a good idea to go on after the Stooges? And he said, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> that makes 10 of us. <laughs> so anyway, he's one of my all-time heroes, and I'm in another band called Thanamos with Mike Patton, and we were playing a big, yeah. <laughs> We were doing a European tour, we were over in Europe playing this big festival. We were playing on a stage with, you know, hundreds to thousands of people somewhere in that neighborhood, and Iggy was headlining the main stage in front of 40,000 people. Okay, now this was before the Stooges reformed, so it was Iggy and his band, which we called Iggy and Sons. <laughs> and uh, we got done on our set, I knew if I, if I made it over there, if I, got, if I packed up my stuff really quick, I could race over there just in time, you know? See the Stooges, or see the Stooges, see Iggy play. Run up on stage, I got my pass. I'm standing up on the side of the stage, huge stage, festival stage. I get over there just in time, oh man, okay. The band right before Ig is still playing. Great, I'm in perfect time. Stand on the side of the stage, and I realize Ig's standing right there. But I don't want to stand there and go, D. <laughs> well, look at him. So instead I go like this. Oh yeah. I'm looking over here, but look how cool he looks. <laughs> He's right over there, but I'm looking over here at this band. I'm not even paying attention. You know, and I'm trying to be cool, you know. So, I noticed out of the corner of my eye, the Iggy's standing there like this. <laughs> Watching this band play. Just, and getting madder by the minute. Just. <laughs> He's short, but he's, he's, you know, growing with rage. <laughs> Two, three inches, you know, flexing and raging. <laughs> wow. Okay, you know. And the band he was watching was Weezer. <laughs> now, I don't know enough about Weezer. I don't know nothing about Weezer. Nothing. I don't pay attention. I know they have a song about a crack pipe or something. <laughs> I really don't have any concept. Okay. You look just like Buddy Ebsen. I look like Marilyn Manson or some song. I don't know. <laughs> really, I just I know vaguely pop music in the background type of thing. You know, you know how it is. I don't. You know, at least I hope you do. You don't pay attention. You know, why? <laughs> You know, there's, they're one of many bands that get stuck in your head at some point, you know. You have to, you know, watch the Beverly Hillbillies or something to get it out of your head, you know. You want that theme running through your head as opposed to, she looks just like a crack pipe or whatever it is. You know? I don't know about you, but I'd much rather have the Beverly Hillbillies theme than, than, than uh, any Weezer song in my head. It's much better, you know. Or Gilligan's Island, that's a good one to have in your head as opposed to any, any hip hop song, you know, three hours, two, three hours. No, it's much better, you know. Okay. So they're done, they leave the stage, Iggy, Iggy and Sons hit the stage, and it's fucking great. I'm watching from side stage, it's great. I can always learn something from a guy like that, he's always great. I just, you know, I'm, I, I just lo I love it, it's great. Anything he wants to do is good enough for me. You know, I don't care what it is, I'm a fan, I will put up with it, I will like it, no matter what. Okay. So he's playing Stooges songs and Iggy Pop solo stuff, and it's great, it's great, I'm really loving it. 20 minutes into the set, between songs, 40,000 people, Iggy stands at the microphone and says, Would you guys think Weezer? <laughs> Everybody, Wee! Iggy just freaks out, just gets bigger, <laughs> he's got the microphone, just screams, FUCK THIS SHIT! Slams the microphone on the stage! 
runs over to the side of the stage where I'm at. I happen to be standing right next to his road manager. Runs right up to the road manager's face and screams, What the fuck kind of shit are you booking me into? <laughs> Off the stage, end of the show. And those words were ringing in my ear. What the fuck kind of shit you booking me in? <laughs> yeah, you know, indeed. You know. <laughs> the band is standing out there in front of 40,000 people holding the bag. Going, what the fuck is that? What the fuck's going on? The audience has no idea what's going on. Nothing, you know? They just walk <laughs> off stage into the show. <laughs> I was like, this is pretty fucking cool, man. <laughs> Good work. And, uh, now, why would that make him an even bigger hero to me? Why? You know? Do you know why? Because he won't even play in front of an audience that likes Weezer! No way! Fuck this shit! I don't care. And I know he didn't get paid, so he didn't even care. It wasn't about the money either. Fuck the money. I'm not doing it. You know? That's fucking cool. That is fucking cool, and that's why I'll always like him even more, ever. Thank you, guys. Woo!